I'm Shonda Golden, and you're in the vault. We're here today with Jill Minichetti. Hi, how are you? Great. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Congratulations on your book. Thanks. Yeah. Welcome to Groove House. Um, just an awesome, awesome book. Before we get into the book, congratulations on 33 years with Dave, oh, your husband. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. yeah. Da uh, Jill is married to Dave Medichetti of Y&T, and you're also their manager. Yes. Yes. And now an author. Yes. My goodness, you're a busy lady. I am. Yeah? Yeah, no time for sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Can you briefly tell the audience what the book is about? Sure, it's about aging rockers, something I know nothing about. <laughs> no, you don't. No. Yeah, and so they live in a villa, right? Well, it's a, there are really two stories. Uh, one is about um, a, a, a rocker that tried to make a, an aging rocker trying to make a comeback mm -hmm. and uh, failed at that and has uh, trying to hide his illness. And he ends up at uh, a house, a, a villa in Italy with a, a pack of aging ex rockers. Right. And uh, I, it, no, all don't kinds give of it away. chaos ensues. Right. How long have you had the story <laughs> inside you? Ooh, I came up with that. Um, in 2003, when Y&T was on the Monsters of Rock tour with Whitesnake mm -hmm. and Gary Moore in the UK, and almost instantly when the guys were standing on this big stage in the big arenas, I had this thought. It just hit me like a ton of bricks. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> and uh, the whole tour, I just kept cultivating this idea of, oh, this could be a really cool story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's where it started. So your lead character is Mike Mays, and he made me crazy. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> That's the point. So how do you, as an author, connect to Mike Mays? Because as I was reading, and I had met you before, um, I'm thinking, how would she come up with this guy? <laughs> he's, he's, I think everyone's known a guy like Mike Mays in their lives. Yeah. Um, he's truly an amalgamation of several different people. So mm -hmm. no, none of the characters in the book are any one person in real life, okay. um, even though the the, the story is definitely peppered with real life. Right. Um, it's, uh, I just came up with this guy that was kind of a dick. Yeah, <laughs> he was. I wanted to kill him. But a lovable dick at some times, right? <laughs> no, because, <laughs> well, let me read this part of the book since you said that. Because there was a part of the book, early on in, in the book, I thought, okay, I'm going to like him. You know, because I, I didn't want to, I just didn't like him. But then you wrote about, and this is coming from Mike Mays, the lead. He said, it's, it, you wrote, as the downer of the present day overshadowed the buzz of his past, Mike slipped into a sinkhole of melancholy. I just thought that was such a beautiful sentence. And I thought, okay, in chapter 12, maybe he's going to turn it around. And he just made me nuts. And that was the whole point. <laughs> yeah, and it worked. Good. Yeah. yeah you, you, it's a character that you love to hate, right? <laughs> yeah. So now when, we, when I met you on the Monsters of Rock, we had chatted about um, how a lot of women connected to Lydia, Mike Mays' daughter. Yeah. Did that surprise you? Yes, because that was just a character I came up with, obviously trying to make um, each, give each character in the novel uh, their own personality and their own quirks. And I'm surprised that all the different people have told me different reasons why they connect with mm -hmm. that with that character. With Lydia. Yeah, with Lydia. Yeah. Because I know that my father, you know, personally, my father abandoned me, but Mike Mays just kind of took it to a whole other level. And see, that's probably another reason it was mm -hmm. a, he was a real stinger for you. Right. Yeah. Because I could see a lot of my biological father in that. Right. So now, what is it that you're hoping that um, the readers will come away with from the journey of reading your book through these characters? Well, I think one of the, well, one of the running themes is... Um, <clears throat> that rockers from the 70s aren't just 80s bands. Thank <laughs> <But> that's, you. <laughs> that's not the main thing, but um, I, I don't judge a book by its cover because right. there's a lot of that throughout. That's another running theme mm -hmm. throughout the book is not everything is as it seems or right. everyone. Right. Now, is there a sequel to this book, you think? Um, interesting question. I've had uh, fans ask for not only a sequel, but a prequel. Uh huh. So um, could be. I have uh, several other rock and roll stories in my mind right now, so I just need to focus on which one to work on next. Um, cool. But I would love—I love these characters, and I'd love to revisit them yeah, at some I, point. Because I would like to see what happened to Harley. Oh yeah, she, I loved I her. I loved Harley. <laughs> you know what I mean? I yeah. felt a kinship to Harley. So, is there a groove house in your future? <laughs> <laughs> Velvet. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> um, when I came, first 
came up with the idea, Dave was telling uh, other friends about it, and uh -huh. they're like, oh, my, you guys, you have to buy a place like this so we can all move there, <laughs> okay? <laughs> So no, it's no. not the future, but it's a fun. It's a it's definitely a, a, a common thread that we talk about. Yeah, and let's retire to Italy. That'd There's no lovely. retirement for us, by the way. It's, I don't believe not. in retirement. Yeah. I think I would go crazy if I retired. It just doesn't. It's not in my. I don't. You know think, what I mean? Uh, rock musicians have a choice. We don't have 401k plans. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get that. So now you obviously, since you're a writer, you obviously read a lot. How many books in your personal library? Uh, now a lot of ebooks, thankfully, because really? I, I love hard. I love hardcovers, but travel. I can't carry a stack of books because mm -hmm. you only get fifty pounds on the, right. on the airplane. And I share that suitcase with Dave, <laughs> so he can bring guitars. So um, y yeah, I a lot of ebooks these days because it's super convenient and and I can start and stop and mm -hmm. read two or three at a time. So what are you reading right now? Um, right now I'm reading. Um, I just finished a, a, sh a novella called Malaika. It was pretty interesting. Yeah. About um, a, a man who befriended a lion, a lioness oh, wow. in Africa. Yeah. It's not a true story, unfortunately, right, right. but it was still, it was a pretty cool uh, short story. Now, do you have a favorite book? Oh, that's too, that's like asking me what my favorite Y&T song is, <laughs> you know, and that's tough. Yeah. No, or my favorite movie, Too Many, just Too, too Many. Too to, Many? Yeah. So, I have a really good question for you. What advice would you give young women looking to get into band management now? And d like, do what you're doing. Don't do it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, you know, just be ballsy uh, and professional. That's the, the main thing is be professional. Okay. Definitely. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be uh, the chick with the tits hanging out. No. You won't be taken seriously. I've seen it for years. I saw it when I first started in the business in, the, in my 20s. And I, I watched these women... Uh, trying to make a name for themselves and not being taken seriously, and I decided I'm not going to be one of those. So uh, I always carry myself as a professional. Right, and as a lady. Try that. Yeah, yeah that That's too. good, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, there's a time and a place for all of that. I think that I'm fairly modest by nature, and I think that's kind of best suited for the bedroom. Yeah. You exactly. know what I mean? Yeah. I don't yeah. want to sign a... Let's not ink a deal with my... No, and you, you want know? people to focus on what you're doing, not on your tits. No! <laughs> Let my husband do that, yeah. right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. That was great advice. Thank, thank, you. thank you. And, you know, keep writing. If you get a chance, pick up this book. You'll enjoy it. It'll make you a little nutty with, you know, Mike Mays. But it's a, it's a great read. And thank people you. can find you on your website, yep. jillmanichetti.com. You have to know how to spell it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right here. But what's great about you, too, is that you have this uh, really cool blog called Behind the Art. Yes. And can you explain, talk to the audience a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, I just had this idea mainly because I am curious about how women get their positions in the industry, how uh -huh. they come to that, uh, to their position. So, um, I just started asking. I first asked my friend Denise Martin if she would be interested in it. She manages Eric Martin, mm -hmm. and um, just went from there. I have sound engineer, um, monitor engineer, people that have different positions in the industry, PR, women that have made their path in a man's world. <laughs> Wonderful! I love that. I, that's kind of what I do. Yeah. And you know what I love about you too is that you um, you just do it. Oh, yeah. You I just say, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Because I know that you handle the P, you do management, PR, merch. I met you at the merch stand. A long time ago. <laughs> yeah. A couple years ago, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. So you just do I it all. I got smart and I heard somebody out. Yeah. So many managers do merchandise. Right. <laughs> but you know what? It's uh, Sometimes you just have to kind of do it yourself if you want it done right. I mean. Yeah, we know that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, nobody can, nobody is as passionate about your product as you are. Yeah. I find that out, I found that out unfortunately the hard way, but it happens, and you know, just keep on trucking. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Thanks. I think you're a beautiful woman, oh, and much continued you so success. Much. Thank you. All right, all right, you guys, you can find Jill Menachetti online. So buy her book, okay? <laughs> Take care.